Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another Quick Win Wednesday. Um, today we're going to talk about mutators. So whenever a user inputs some data and it's all structured all wrong and capitals and everything mixed up. So we can fix that with mutators. So let's dive into it. All right, so I have Again, a predefined project, actually the same one as last week, but today I've created another uh, custom command called change name, where I fetch my uh, user and I will actually yeah, put in the name, update the name to something strange with capital B uh, and a capital R and a T, and I will save it. And if we run this, uh, here we go. And then I have an output of yeah some dirty name here. So we can fix this with mutators. So a quick word on mutators is a mutator is actually uh, something that pre-processes the uh, data before it goes into the database. And you can also use it to, while fetching the data, also do some mutations and display it to the user. So here's how we're going to use that. In the user model, um, I have already um, provided, but we're going to comment it out, uh, put it out of the comments, I mean. So we need to eliminate database eloquent costs attribute and the model. And down here, I also provided the uh, needed function. So it's a protected function name because the attribute that we're going to um, manipulate is name. Um, attribute, return attribute, make, and then we have a get and a set. So it's an arrow function of the value. And for the get, we're going to use uc first. So make the first letter a capital. And in the set, we're going to use string to lower of the value. And well, we're going to save this and we're going to run our command again. Here we go, nothing changed in our command. So we have the dirty input and we print out a capital B and ERT in lowercase. Now, if you're wondering, we have right over here a string to lower for the value. And just to prove the point here, I'm just going to uh, artisan tinker and user find value one. Here we go. And in the database, my name is also included, but in the lowercase version of it. Um, so if we uh, string to upper, for example, and we run it again. We have all capitals, but in the database, again, find, we're all lowercase. So that's how we could use attributes. Um, be careful with it. In some languages, yeah, some names could be, yeah, difficult. So if you're building an application with multiple languages and multiple in multiple countries, um, yeah, just watch out for that. But this is how you can use mutators to um, manipulate the data that the, the user is providing to your application, store them in a nice way and put them out to the user again in a structured way that you want them to be structured. So that's it for this week. See you next week. Bye bye.